Welcome to the Old Foresters National Park Information Center. Here you can find the latest news to help you get the most out of your visit. Dr. Tina Warner was lost in the woods three months ago. No traces of her have been found. The rescue heliport was recently built after frequent missing persons reports in the surrounding forest. Learn more about the flora of our beautiful reserve. Among the wide variety of plants in the park, some very special flowers are photographed by visitors from time to time. Strange vines are occasionally seen by tourists and rangers. They are aggressive but die quickly. The Vanderlee Institute is currently conducting research. Learn more about our infrastructure before you set out into the park. Old Forester City is the oldest city in the state. It was founded on the ruins of an even older settlement, which was abandoned over a thousand years ago. The Vanderlee Institute is a longtime investor in the park. They often conduct research projects in the area. The Ranger Station is a place for visitors to relax and rejuvenate during their visit. The park contains vegetation from a variety of landscapes, including mountain slopes, plains, and canyons. The park. Learn more about the personality. Dr. James Vanderlee is the owner of the institute that bears his name. He is a person of great repute throughout Old Forester City. Dr. Tina Warner is a renowned scientist. Her extensive work with the park includes a recent search for mystical flowers in the park's woods. Jim Gordon has been the park's head ranger for 20 years. He can be found in the station building or from a helipad. Learn more about the park's history and legends. The legend of the mystical flowers is a remnant of the ancient settlement. It was believed that the dark flowers could prolong life and promote health. Little evidence remains of the ancient settlement where Old Forester's city was built. Legend says that they were victims of a strange force called a dark dimension. Attention, attention, in the park, be careful, these vines
Anyone in the park should head straight to the helipad. If you're in the visitor center, there's a spare key for the off-road vehicle behind the radio. Thank <laughs> you. 